Hello, I'm Kent Brockman, and this is I on Springfield. Surprisingly, it's filed for bankruptcy. Rainier, what went wrong? Three divorces in three months. What can I say, Kent? I'm a romantic. But this personal tragedy translates into a good old-fashioned bankruptcy sale. How oh, the mighty have fallen. Into my price range. I'm gonna go there. Dad, we are there. Woohoo! Everything here is sword. Sword baseball bat, sword rifle, sword pineapple, sword sword sharpener, sword pie. It's... Hey, what happened to the sword pie? What do I do now? Now, Rainier, I really don't think it's right to sell these play dude centerfolds. Zip it, Holy Joe. Are you taking us to another mansion? Uh, Miss September, I think you're gonna have to get in a trunk. Ooh. Got any junk that'll go up in value after you die? Right this way. <sighs> My first weight set. <gasps> the weights that changed you from a Bavarian cream puff to a mass of twitchy muscles? There's no way all this junk is gonna fit in that car. No, don't worry. This is what all those hours of playing Tetris were for. Perfect. But there's no room for you. No! Oh! Do you think you could give me a lift home? Mom, I think Maggie fudged her huggies. Bart, don't say it like that. You'll hurt her feelings. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <sighs> Hello, Mrs. Hummer. Apu, where's your bathroom? Oh, that is the most pungent thing I have ever smelled, and I am from India. There's a happy baby, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Give me your purse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Let's go. Mom? Are you okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Marge. I swear to you, I'll put my best man on it. Mm hmm? Oh, boy, is this awkward. Okay, Marge. You can do this. You've done it a thousand times before. Hi, Mrs. Simpson! Oh, no! I pepper sprayed Ralph! Mom, you didn't get the milk. And you parked on top of the mailman. It's okay, all part of the job. Can you believe I get paid to wear short pants? Marge, I'm afraid you've developed agoraphobia. Isn't there anything I can do? Marge, I suggest you slowly desensitize yourself to the fear of going outside. Create controlled situations where you can Leave the house without pain or panic. This first time, we'll only take a few steps outside. <gasps> All right. Just to the mailbox and back. Now, Dr. Hibbert said to use a number from 1 to 10 to describe how anxious you are. 2, 3, 10, 10, 10, 10. Don't worry, I'll set fire to the hive. 12, 15, 703. Run! Marge? I'm gonna sleep down here tonight. Hey, man. Over. Breaker, breaker. Bartman to shut in. The big guy's asleep. Please advise. Over. Whack him with the M, no. Over. I'll roger that big time. Oh, you little shit! The air hockey table makes passing the carrots a breeze. Bart, eat your spinach. No way. Yes, way. <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'm sending the cat up with your lunches. What to do now? Too crazy to go outside. Not crazy enough to have imaginary friends. Why did Homer buy those? No one's ever going to use them. as much as when I started. You know what would zest up this hollandaise? A lemon. Dad, do you plan to get in shape? No, actually, I'm going to eat twice as much. I got all the way out to the tree before I realized I'd left the house. <gasps> I'm stronger than I've ever been. I don't have to go back inside. I'm not afraid. <gasps> you? What you been up to? Living in fear? Not anymore! Mark, that was amazing! It's like 
think I'm married to Shaft. Hey, Chief, I think that's the guy who mugged her. Yeah, looks like she caught her own criminal. Unlike the rest of you lazy bones. Marge Simpson? It's Ruth! Ruth Powers! Ruth Powers? My old neighbor? Ever thought of competing? I don't have those kind of muscles. Well, you could if you use these. Steroids? But aren't there side effects? Yes, their main side effect is greatness. But if you'd rather be weak and helpless... No, no! I feel good, with no repercussions. Whoa! Hurry up, kids, you'll miss the bus! Stuff. I've got a competition tomorrow. I could use a good luck snuggle. Did you have them? Let's do it. Morning, kids. I made your lunches. They're on the table. Huh? Why didn't Mom make our lunch? Your mom has a lot of stuff to shave. Ow! 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 Hi, Karumba. I'm off women forever. Support the arts! Yeah, right. In second place, Mart Simpson! Second place? Oh man, this will just encourage her. I'm tired of her criticizing my saggy glutes. Oh, I'm so proud of you, honey. You bulked up but managed to keep your femininity. And that's why I didn't win. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Uh, listen, Marge. Um,. How can I put this delicately? I don't got enough booze in this place to make you look good. Maybe death will stop your yammering. Disco stew should have disco ducked. Arch! Somewhere in that sea of full hormones is the sweet, wonderful girl I married. Oh, my gosh. You're right. Hmm? Steroids have turned me into everything I hate. Let's go home, sweetie. Club soda will get that blood out. <gasps> you know... I really do miss being a lady. And I miss being your knight in flabby armor. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only one way to recoup my losses. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't you have to buy insurance first? Oh, crap. So, kids, it's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means. You get to stay downstairs watching TV with the sound turned way up. What about you and Mom? Oh, we'll be upstairs in the bedroom making lovely rope ladders in case there's a fire. Oh, my darling, nothing is too romantic for you. Have some more liquor. <laughs> That's it. Drink up, my pretty. And now I'm in the mood for love. Oh, homie, I'm sorry. You know, I usually bring my A-game to the bedroom, but tonight I just can't throw the heat. Well, my special mixtape will get you going. Oh no, that's Maggie's mixtape. And Maggie must have gotten... Sex bomb, sex bomb. Oh, everyone but me. Thanks for waking me for the bookmobile, Terrence. Angela! Shut down on Valentine's Day. That's supposed to be a gimme. Everybody getting some but me. Marge doesn't think I'm sexy. What am I supposed to do? That's it! Thank you, outdoor advertising! You saved my marriage! 
and not for the first time. Ooh, strip for your wife. Welcome to How to Strip for Your Wife. Dr. Hibbert, you're the teacher? Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. I put myself through medical school dancing under the name Malcolm Sex. Homer, are you already oiled? Three coats. That oil was for the entire class. Homer, take this quarter, call your mother, and tell her you're never going to be a stripper. You there. Yeah, the greasy naked bald man. Now life is hard. Am I right? Oh, yeah. 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 Wrong! Life is easy. You suck. You have to take life. You have to grab it by its little bunny ears and get in its face. God. You see this watch? It's jammed with so many jewels, the hands can't move. What kind of watch do you have? Uh, well, I drew it on. See? Megatronics, the 48 tips to corporate success. You know? mm. Tip one, live each day like it was your last. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm so young. <laughs> Tip two, let nothing stand in your way. You, let's love now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Oh. Go on ahead. I'll just slow you down. <sighs> Look, I installed a key hook so you'll always know where your keys are. Oh, that's so sweet. I was tired of putting my keys in that bowl like a caveman. Megatronics tip 20. Make your cubicle into a ubicle. Hmm, hmm. hmm. what next, Megatronics? Point out problems at your workplace to your boss. I say, Phantom Menace sucked more. I say, Attack of the Clouds sucked more. Uh oh, that's toxic waste. Ah! 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 And now to see Mr. Burns for the promotion and raise I've deserved since this morning. Mr. Burns, I've made a list of recommendations to improve plant efficiency. And what book is that? The ape who wanted a big bonus? Stop wasting my time, you corn-fed man-cow. <laughs> Would you mind? Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Burns had an electric eel pond. Well, he does. All my life, I've had one dream to achieve my many goals. Oh, homie, don't let it get you down. So Mr. Burns doesn't take you seriously. Big whoop. Who gives a doodle? Whoopie ding dong do. Thanks for trying, but I'll be at Moe's. Who's this Burns guy? Somebody you work with? Moe? We've been complaining about him every night for eight years. Well, if this guy's riding your rump, why don't you slap him some payback? Revenge? On Mr. Burns? <laughs> Wait till he steps on this flaming bag of <gasps> Lisa's college fund! <laughs> Sir, we could be in real trouble here. The government found out you dumped nuclear waste under Legoland. Sir, for dumping that waste, you could go to jail. And a handsome man like you, I'd hate to think what would happen. <laughs> I wouldn't go to jail. The legal owner of this plant would. Canary M. Burns. <gasps> this entire plant is in his name. Why, Standard Oil was once owned by a half-eaten breakfast. Hmm. Don't you get it? If you get rid of that bird, Burns is at your mercy. Homie, what's wrong? I have a plan to get to the top, but I have to do some pretty rotten things to get there. I'm not sure I could look at myself in the mirror or any highly polished metal. Do it, Dad. You could get a less crappy car. Bart, you can hear us? Oh, yeah. From my room, I can hear everything. Me, too. The walls are paper thin. Hi. This is it, boy. With this bird gone, the plant will be mine for the taking. Now fly to the Canary Islands. Mr. Burns, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is here for a surprise inspection. <laughs> Good lord, that canary was supposed to be my pigeon. I need to find a patsy, quick. Hello? Yes, yes, hello. Now I need to find a patsy. Hello? Moon-faced simpleton is continually interrupting my search for a patsy. Why to... Hello? Why are you looking at me like that? 
Finally, I would like to add to any nuclear inspectors in the crowd that the titular head of the power plant is now Mr. Homer J. Simpson. That's right. And as my first act, Mr. Burns, you're fired! <laughs> Check and mate! Now, King me. So, the caterpillar has emerged from its cocoon as a shark with a gun for a mouth. Mr. Burns? Yes? Yeah. Eat crowd, old man! <laughs> Mr. Burns' reign of terror is over! Yay! And today begins my reign of terrific <gasps> management! <laughs> and now, as I ascend this crystal staircase to my office, I say, Avert your gaze! Yay! Well, now that I'm forcibly retired, I feel I should give back to society and do some charitable work, but... To make this plant economically viable, you've got to lay off 112 people. If you don't patch the leak in Cooling Tower 2, you will go to jail. Oh, I need a vacation. This is your vacation. Check it out. I'm Toma Kazoka of the Montreal Expos. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm Esther Banyan of the Tampa Bay Devil Ray. Bart's growing up without me. He won't be 10 forever. Knock, knock. <gasps> Mr. Burns! How did you ever run this place? You gotta turn away your family, fire your friends, work until the wee hours of the afternoon? Now, come with me. I want to show you something. I got a gold star at school today for my expose on toxins and gold star adhesive. That's great, honey. Hold it up to the camera. Homie, I know you've got a lot of work to do, but this really isn't the same as eating dinner with your family. Hey, Dad, you said you were going to play catch with me tonight. Well, I have to work, but give the monitor a kiss. I don't want to do that. Come on, boy, you're not too old to kiss your daddy's monitor. Hey, that's a printer port, not a finger hole. I was working so hard I missed our wedding, our honeymoon, and our divorce proceedings. Do you see why I brought you here, Simpson? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Thank you for... What are you doing? Hey, Dad! Pitch to me! From now on, my only ambition is to be the world's greatest dad. Yes! You nearly hit me on the head! Oh, you want a piece of me? Ow! Ow, he bit me! You saw him! He bit me! You little...